Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Goedemiddag, dames en heren. Jumelang bome li boentate. Um, this is a, is a great opportunity. This is the very first time we're doing a live online engineering week um, starting today, and it will continue for the rest of this week. Each afternoon, it will start at three o'clock, and next week we will continue with this. Now, at the art van die saak, ons, ons leven in interessante tye, en uh, ons gaan probeer, at the art van die saak, hierdie is nie die in persoon in geneersweek wat ons twee keer een jaar aanbied in Potsch Stroom nie. Maar ons hoop, en, en dit is ons, dit is ons hoop rechtig, dat ons die vraag wat daar buiten mag wees, um, sal kan antwoord in termen van een geneerswees, iets waar ons baie passievol is by die NWI. And um, I want to invite you, if you have any questions at all, you'll see, um, if you are watching live, you can make use of the chat function, and you can send in those questions, and we will look at them as we proceed. Right. So just to give you an overview, uh, today we will we will have a general welcoming and we will give an oversight of some of the important factors related to, to studying engineering. Um, en daar gaan ons kyk, morgen gaan ons kyk na wat is dit om een ingenieur student te wees? What does it entail to be an engineering student at the NWU? Um, then we will also talk on Wednesday. It's, it's, you should not miss this. We will be sharing some initiatives currently taking place within the Faculty of Engineering, specifically related to COVID-19, and how, as a faculty, there are brilliant researchers and lecturers currently addressing problems that we are experiencing, um, not just in, in Potchefstroom or South Africa, but, but in, in, the, in the world as a whole. And then we will dig right into the, the nice part, looking at all the various disciplines within engineering, um, chemische mineral engineers wese, mechanies, elektrische elektronies, rekenaar elektronies, hou, uh, bedrijfs engineers wese, mechatronies, splinter niet, en elektromechanies. All those programs, and I just want to highlight Mechatronic, it's official, it's brand new, it will be running as from next year. All right, now with that, I would like to welcome um, and uh, introduce our executive dean, Professor Liesel van Dijk, and she will be doing the official welcoming on behalf of the Faculty of Engineering. Thank you very much, Dr. Liesel. Goedemiddag, jullie. Good afternoon. Yes, so I'm Liesel van Dijk. I'm an industrial engineer. So ik ben bedrijfsingenieur, maar ik is ook ik is ook een ma. So ik praat nou hier met jullie als studenten, maar ik praat ook met jullie als ouders. Ik zie dat ze uh, jullie paar dus zijn mensen daar buiten. En ik weet van jullie studenten, van jullie als ouders. En ik wil jullie zeggen, ik ik is baie blij dat ons vandaag met jullie gaan gesels en ik kon thuis dus gister alsof ik een student was. So, Although I'm sitting here um, in capacity of being the executive dean of the faculty, I'm also sitting here as, as a parent, and I'm also sitting here as, as somebody who can remember actually very vividly the excitement as well as the uncertainty that you all must experience at this stage um, and the privilege that you have in, in terms of, of being able to, to decide about your future. Ik weet ook voor ons sit daar met trikkelante, ek dink daar sit sekerlik um, graad 11, graad 10, graad 7 is moendlik, graad 9 is. So het is volgens lekker wees om van julle te hoor. So um, ek hoop, dat ons kan bykie vir julle bykie meer vertel en ek, um, ek hoop julle kan vir ons bykie vraag vraag so dat julle ook julle kop kan recht kry om um, oor julle loop aan. I think the best way of, of sharing with you more about our faculty uh, more about the program and more about what, what you can expect if in becoming an engineer is if I share with you what we the first thing that you will see when you when you're um, entering our website. So the very first thing when you when when you enter the website is a it's a paragraph in which we say that at the NWU Faculty of Engineering we change the world for the better. We do this first by educating and developing exceptional engineers. So that is you. Um, and we would like to have engineers that can, but also want to change the world. So we're not only interested in giving you the skills and the, and the know-how, but we would like to give you the heart um, and, the, and the passion um, to, to apply that. 
And then secondly, we also pride ourselves in the fact that we are relevant. We, we find answers to current and real life challenges. Um, it's related to our industries, our communities. Um, and we do this not only by um, being the best in the science, by doing cutting edge research, but also by applying it very well. And you will, you will hear a lot of inf um, examples about that. Um, we value our industry, we value our academic and community partners, and together we can develop relevant, sustainable, multidisciplinary solutions, as well as engineers with the ability and attitude to do the same. So, um, as you know, now the Afrikaans is the whole thing that you can see. So, it is so important that I want to go to the Afrikaans. So, on the, 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 the Afrikaans website, you will see that. Um, by the NVI faculty and engineers, we will also the world a better place. We will also the world for others. We will do it first, to get the engineers to the line and to develop what the vermoe and the will to the world a better place to make. Second, we will do it to answer the question of existing and future world outcomes of our companies and communities. We will do it by the way of forming as well as forming our valuation for our industry, our academic and community values. In the sum what us what us moeilijk what it was moeilijk is om relevante, volhoubare en multidisciplinaire oplossings te vind en te ontwikkel. Nou nog meer nog nooit more than ever before we need engineers. More than ever before you are experiencing uncertain times and you're experiencing a world that needs change and a world that needs development. A world that needs clever solutions, a world that needs empathetic solutions. So if you um, have the ability and the love for maths and science and you love to solve problems, um, then there's no better time for you and there's no better place for you and no better place for you than the NWU and no better career for you than engineering. So... Let, kom ek vertel jy een bykie meer, hoekom sê ek dit, hoekom sê ek nou juist ingenieurs wees, en hoekom sê ek nou juist um, die NWI. Um, so, by die fakulteit ingenieurs wees, het ons een hele paar programme, en jylle gaan oor die verloop van die volgende uh, paar dagen en jylle heel wat leer, um, heel wat hoor van die verskillende programme, maar daar is vir jou een program. So, partij van jylle gaan meer hou van detenaars, partij gaan meer hou van van uh, processen, partij van jullie gaan um, absoluut wil een deel van data en um, partij van jullie gaan uh, is, is juist sterk omdat jullie omdat jullie die mens in die in die hele groter context ook in acht neem. So for every one of you, there's a engineering discipline that suits you. There's a engineering discipline in which you can um, can um, focus in which you can really um, become. But you, you you can really um, um, get your full potential by by being in that um, that uh, area. It's also um, by studying at the NWU, not only having the wide variety of disciplines, of which mechatronics is the very new one, but also the interdisciplinary. We work interdisciplinary in terms of our different programs, but we also work interdisciplinary. In terms of other faculties, you will hear tomorrow a lot about our health systems um, applications, but you'll also see that we are forerunners in terms of energy. You know, you must have heard about our solar car. So, we don't see that we what not have a little bit of 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 a little Irrelevant. Ons, ons leven in een globale wereld. Jullie weet, vooral nou, jy kan enige tijd enige plek wees, eindelijk, weens technologie. Die mooie ding van ons graad is, jy kan ook fysisk enige tijd enige plek wees. Um, daar is soos van ons studenten wat in Frankrijk werk, of studenten wat in Amerika werk, in Duitsland, in Nederland, in Australië, in Nieuw-Zeeland. En hulle allemaal baard daar met die kwalificatie wat hulle verwerf weet, en dis dankzij die feit dat ons grade dier die ingenieursraad van Zuid-Afrika gereguleer is. So, the, the Engineering Council of South Africa is a body, um, a group, uh, it's, a, it's the professional, the profession of engineers who's regulating themselves. And they're also being regulated by international um, accords, we call it the Washington Accord. 
and all over the world, engineering programs are created according to the same the same criteria and the same standards. So if you get a degree from the Northwest University of South Africa, that degree is 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 recognized throughout the world because of the Washington Accord. So um you was not a welcome to yet. Um I can you mail to inspire and listen to make a bit further to, to listen to the rest of the week. Um, we are going to look at another practical question uh, to look at the term of your, of your um, answer and so on. And I am going to look at this again. So, please, please, I am keen to, to hear more about you and to answer more specific questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. Liesel. Um, I like what you are saying, and that is important because that is a question we get many times. Is the degree in engineering internationally recognized? And the answer to that is yes. The same body that accredits the program at the Northwest University, it's the same body, EXA, that accredits all other universities in South Africa. And according to the Washington Accord, that degree is then internationally recognized. It's very important, because I know that this question is up. And it's a important question, because at the end of the day, what helps you is a great, but you can't one day per se work. En uh, dit is ook goed. En nie net is dit in theorie so nie, dit is in praktijk ook so. Baie van ons alumni werk thans in die buitenland en uh, dit, is, dit is belangrijk om daarop te let. Nou, ingenieurswese, soos enige ander graad, is nie verniet nie. Uh, dit is uh, arm in been wat het van die ouders in familie kos. It's, uh, it's expensive. Uh, roughly, and there are various costs involved, a year at university and the Northwest University is that's good news. It's not the most expensive one. There are more expensive ones out there. So it, it's it's a cheaper option for the same degree. So that's that's good to take note of that. But the thing I want to mention is that even with that, a year at university in Pochestrum, where you will study engineering, will cost you around about a hundred thousand rand per annum. That will include your tuition, um, accommodation, uh, books that you have to buy, and a bit of spending money. So, uh, 100,000 rand a year. So, a four year grad, and in engineers, we have four years. The time is about five years, and the maximum time is six years. So, the time is doing it for a longer time. But this means that an engineers grad costs plus minus half a million rand. So that's why it's important to make sure that you make an informed choice with regards to your career. And we hope that the engineering week that we will have online will help you to answer that question. But as we are talking about funding, I'm going to introduce Mrs. Claudie Kruse, and she is somebody you need to know. If you're in any way involved as an engineering student, you need to know Mrs. Claudie Kruse, because she is responsible for the whole bursary. How can I put this? Say for bint the the student met geleentede met met beurs in terme van dit. Maar plek dat ek praat, kom ons luister na Claudie. Claudie, gesels asseblief met ons. Ons luister graag. Thank you, Cornelius. I am Claudia Kruse. I am working for the Faculty of Engineering, and we are one of the lucky faculties that has our own bursary office. The good news is there is a lot of bursaries available for engineering students, and we are the link between, like Cornelius said, between the companies and the students. Met andere woorden, wat ons doen is ons probeer om die studente veel as moendlik blootstelling te gee aan advertenties. Nie net vir postdikte as hulle eendag klaar by ons studeer het nie, maar ook dan as hulle by ons begin studeer om dan vir hulle geskikte beers te kry. Want soos wat Cornelius gesê het, beers is redelijk omvattend. Um, studies per year is more or less 100 and, between 100 and 120,000 rand. And the bursaries usually cover all that cost. In other words, your registration fees, your tuition fees, your accommodation, your meals, etc. So it's nice to have a bursary, then the parents doesn't have to worry at all about the students and I'm their new best friend and mom on this side. So um, what I will really say is that there are enough firmas that are geregeld for us to get advertenties here. We have um, a good connection with a team of the firmas on the other side, what then also for students work and vacation work, which is of value. 
and I would also like to encourage, encourage all the students that is now currently in matric to apply for NESFAS for the time being. The applications open in September and um, that is a bursary that's really covering a lot. It opens the 1st of September up until the end of November. And um, this, you mustn't have a, an income more than 350,000 Rand for your household to be, to be able to qualify for this bursary. And obviously you need to be a South African citizen. But this is a nice start of seeing that most of the companies really would like to invest in the students only from their second year on. So I will you as a belief anmoedig om in tussen tijd van Nesvans aansoek te doen. Dan die oomlik as die student by ons is, en jy het nou al een jaarse punte achter die blad, het gaan goed met jou, dan kan ons jou help om dan by plek in te kom van jou kese, en ons kan seleer dan bijvoorbeeld in Nesvans beers. So, daar is baie beers op die skikbaar, jy het meer as welkom om vir my vraag te vraag daar oor, ek sal jy graag wil help met meer inlig. Dankie, Cornel. Thank you very much, Claudie. I would like to um, just share my screen and show you where you can access the database to actually register so that uh, Mrs. Claudie Crusoe will know about you and then you can get information. So I'm just going to share my screen. Um, now I just need to find it. Where do we go? Here we go. There we go. Right. Good. So if you go to engineering, dot nwu dot hc.za en vir die wat Afrikaans is, hulle kan net uh, op die Afrikaans gaan daasel en die Afrikaans klik, dan sal het Afrikaans wees. But on the English page, here's the, so on the, the, the English page, let's just go there. This is the nice part about doing everything online. So, study engineering, and here you have bursaries. You can click on bursaries, and then under bursaries, you will have this database form. And you can net hier so click, en dan registreer om op die databasis dan geplaas te word. En soos dat dan inlichting beskikbaar word, stal jy dan daar die inlichting via e-post ontvang Om dit, om dit te kan doen. Oh. Right. Good. Thank you very much. But important thing, and I want to encourage those out there. Do not answer for Biasa. I get a bike here who are on same means, Yama, based with by five tough skilling the Matskapaya answer doing for Biasa, and on crime is next thing. Actually, well, as you have a Hian Matskapaya on answer doing, as there are hundred percent quantity near Bias on crime. That is a, a, a Lurisa Affleck. So die, die moeite om in te sit, om aansoek te doen vir beurse, as jy in acht neem die bedrag wat op die spel is, jy praat van een half miljoen rand, dan is my vraag, hoeveel aansoeken is te veel moeite vir een half miljoen rand, as ek dit, dit kan, kan, kan prakties maak. So ja, doen aansoek, en ek het al baie keer, dit is hardseer, you, you, you meet students and then they're just like, I wanted to study, but there was no money available. And one thing that I found, there's always a way to make a plan. And please don't give up on your dreams. Money should not be the hurdle preventing you from becoming an, an engineer. I, I want to stress that that's very important. All right. Then some of you have already uh, registered or uh, applied. And one of the things that's, that's quite unique to the Northwest University, it's not the NBT. I want to just stress that it's not the NBT. Um, it's an in-house designed engineering test. And Mrs. Sunet Becker, some of you would have heard from her previously. You would have received emails from her. She has a million emails to work through every day from uh, students from, from various avenues. And she can tell us about the engineer students. Sunet. To net, I love this. You're just muted. You must just unmute yourself. I love this because it's real life. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Mrs. Elsa Hatting is actually going to tell you more about the engineering test. I just want to show you this is me here uh, working with me every day. So if you have more info, if you need more information, please feel free to contact me. But um, Mrs. Elsa Hatting is going to tell you more about everything. Great. So now at least you have a face behind the email. You know who's who's actually sending those emails. So as you weer your post krijg van engineering info of engineering test of Sunet Becker, dan weet jylle te winste hoe sy like. En denk maar aan hierdie tyd, daar is vraag e-post wat wat hanteer moet word, want dit is klomp studente wat belang stel. Maar met dit gaan ek dan oorgee aan mevrouw Elsa Hatten, and she's gonna talk to us about the engineering test the Excel program, as well as applications in general. Thank you very much, Elsa. Good day, um, Good day, everybody. Yes, uh, Sunet is a person to know. <laughs> She's a person that you will contact and have a lot of um, conversations with. And if everything, anything goes wrong, she's the person to contact. So she's really the person to know. Um, I'm going to tell you more about the application and the selection process as well as the Excel program. So uh, when you apply online, the application is handled by our central application office. Uh, if you have any problems um, with the application online, you're welcome to contact Barbara Nolte. Um, her email address is um, indicated below. So you can just uh, click there and ask her questions about the online application. Um, if there's any outstanding documents or anything that you want to change, you change your mind, you want to apply for another program, then you can contact Hanari Lamprecht. She's also working at the Central Application Office. Um, regarding selections, that is our office. So um, I'm situated inside um, in the Faculty of Engineering and we are doing the selections. So. Um, more about how to qualify for engineering. There are four different ways to qualify for engineering. The first, of course, as you know, is by meeting the minimum requirements with your school results. So as jy voldoen aan al die vereistes wat ontstel vir ons program, dan weet jy, jy kan aanvaar word, direct vir die vier jaar plan. Um, if you are still in matric, um, of course, it will only be a conditional acceptance. And that only means that um, we are still waiting for your final metric results. And the moment that is available, we can finalize the, the selection. Um, if you are finished with metric, you've completed it, then we can have a look and um, uh, accept you unconditionally already. Just keep in mind, um, the selection committee would like to know what you were busy with. Um, this year or the years uh, after completing your matric and we would um, like you to submit extra documents and we will let you know the outcome of your application. It won't be an automatic process. But if you meet the minimum requirements, then you know you can be accepted. Just to remind you, um, the minimum requirements, um, you must have at least 60% for um, the language of tuition, that's either Afrikaans or English, um, you must have at least 70% for both mathematics and physical science. And just note that we do not accept mathematics literacy or technical mathematics and physical science. And um, also, unfortunately, you cannot qualify by doing the end courses at the FET colleges. The content um, does not articulate well with what we expect here at the university. It's vocational orientated, so the, the assessment, the outcomes, everything differs from what we expect. And then the last um, uh, criteria is an IPS score of, of 34. So if you meet these requirements, you know that you can be accepted directly for the four-year program. Okay, um, for those of you that, um, that are disappointed with your grade 11 results, um, working very hard to meet the requirements at the end of the year, there is also a second way to be considered for engineering, and that is 
via our engineering test. Um, just between brackets, while you are in metric, you are welcome to send in upgraded or improved marks to us anytime until you must register next year. So even um, after the final year results are available and you see, okay, I did not meet the requirements last year, but now suddenly I am, I, I meet the requirements, then you can immediately send it through to us. Again, send it to Sunet Backer um, via email and um, the selection committee will look at your application again and we will reconsider your application. If you meet the requirements, we can accept you for the four-year degree program. So what happens if you see that you do not meet the requirements? Perhaps you did this year and after the metric results are available, suddenly you do not meet the requirements anymore. Or um, as I said, at this stage, you, you do not meet the requirements. Then we use the engineering test as a way to consider you. So that is an alternative way of being um, considered. That's a second way of qualifying. Okay, the engineering test, um, the selection um, committee look at the uh, results of the engineering test together with your school results. And then we get a clear picture of what we can recommend you, how to start with your engineering um, education. Um, so we, uh, we use the results and then we give you advice. Um, the engineering test itself. Um, the test has been developed by 45 people from the Faculty of Engineering as well as um, relevant faculties. And the questions were designed to test your thinking skills. The purpose of the test is not really to retest your metric. We don't want to see did you master maths and physical science on the right level. For that, we're going to use your school results and we look at the National Senior Certificate results. And what we actually want to see is how well and how comfortable you are with handling content on a higher cognitive um, level. We, as will be expected from you in the engineering programs. So we want to see, are you able to reason logically, read critically, um, can you solve problems, can you apply your knowledge? Those are the things that you're going to need within your engineering education. And the test will be conducted online um, starting this coming Friday. We test every day in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, except on Sundays. So please make an appointment to write the test. The, um, you can make the appointment on the engineering website. And um, there's also a link that you can click um, that's been given to you below. Um, and you can make an appointment there. And the dates are available until the 18th of July, mainly to ensure that those of you who want to uh, be considered for hostel placement, that you have a chance to be placed. The hostel placement closes at the end of July, and that is why we want to complete the selection before that date. But we will also make tests available, dates available um, after July, and we plan to test until January. So you can still come and write the test next year, January, before we register. Okay, there will be enough time for you to write the test. Um, to write the test online, there are criteria that you have to meet, otherwise it's not going to work. So you must ensure that you have a quiet room to work in, that nobody entering or going out, um, that you have a computer and a laptop with a webcam, you have to have a cell phone with a camera, um, you need a stable network. That's very important and at least five gigabytes of data because the video and the microphone will remain on during the test. If you don't have a laptop or computer, you can borrow, you can go and write at the place where the, you can sit down and write the test. doesn't matter where you write the test as long as you make sure that you do have a webcam, stable network, and enough. Okay, that's the engineering test. Then the third way to uh, qualify for engineering can be by doing BEC programs. You are um, very welcome if you complete a 
a BC uh, degree to apply for engineering, we will um, give you recognition for subjects that you completed. We won't expect from you to repeat subjects that you already did. Um, it must, however, be a relevant BEC program with mathematics and physics as mainstream su subjects. Otherwise, um, we're going to look again at your matric results. You must meet the minimum requirements on mathematics and physical science. You're also welcome to apply for engineering after your first year of BEC study. Um, we are going to look at the following, however. You must have um, enrolled for a relevant BEC program. It's important that you do take the mainstream subjects, um, mathematics and physics, for in your first and your second semester. Then uh, you must have completed 120 credits during the year. And that only means that you must take the whole package of BEC subjects and not uh, only enroll for one or two subjects. And uh, the last thing is, you must have passed all your first year subjects, both first and second semester, with at least 60%. If you meet all those requirements, we can accept you for um, the four year degree program, and you can enroll for second year engineering subjects. Um, of course, there will be subjects that you missed out on, first year engineering subjects, which we will plan into your timetable and it's possible to finish your engineering studies over five years, the BEC um, year included. Right, then the fourth way to qualify for engineering is by enrolling for our Excel program. That is our bridging, in-house bridging program. For those of you who would like to study engineering, um, but your final metric results do not meet either the uh, engineering requirements or the BEC requirements, you might consider the Excel program. The Excel program is a bridging program within the Faculty of Engineering, and we designed this program because we saw a need for this program. We are aware that there are applicants with excellent engineering potential, but do not have the school results um, that they need to enter engineering. And this will give them a chance to qualify for engineering. Because we cannot accept any other curriculum than the full mathematics and physical science curriculum from school, our bridging program includes the metric, math, and physical science. Um, on the contrary, we don't only cover the metric, um, math, and science, but we um, in detail also handle the full grade 11 curricula and sometimes we go as far back as grade 10 contents when necessary. Um, the students then write the National Senior Certificate exam again at the end of the year. Um, and they also write the uh, mock exam. Uh, they have new year marks, so it's possible to really do well at the end of the year. And with a better matrix certificate, you can apply for any program of your choice. Um, because it is intended for preparation for engineering studies study specifically, we included subjects that are um, skill oriented, uh, like CAD, computer aided design, and programming. You know that to master a skill, um, it takes time. It takes a lot of time with practice. Um, and that is the ideal time to master a skill that will greatly benefit you during your studies in engineering. Um, except for that, you're also going to receive academic support and you're going to complete a, 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 a university subject, a first year engine, uh, university subject. And, and that means that you will be a university student. The classes are offered on campus. It's a full-time program, 12 hours of mathematics classes per week, 12 hours physical science classes per week, starting at half past seven on a Monday morning, finish on a Friday afternoon. So it's a lot of work. Um, I am very proud to say that the students over the past five years did really well in the program. 
um, the average improvement on mathematics and physical science for the class as a whole is between 20 and 27 percent on their previous results. And we had students that improved their math and science marks up to 45 percent. So we have a lot of distinctions. We have uh, students that have 80 and 90 percent for mathematics and physical science after their Excel year. If you are still in matric, you are welcome to apply for the Excel program. First, you have to apply online for the engineering program um, to get a student number. And then you must also fill out an Excel program um, application form. The link is also available below. And um, the placements will, however, only be done in January after the matric marks are available. They are actually only 20 places available in the Afrikaans class and 20 in the English class. So we wait until you have your matric results before we do the placement. At this stage, we can only place you on a waiting list. So for more information on the Excel program, please click on the link below. And you're also welcome to send us email with questions and requests. We will be happy to assist. Um, we are looking forward meeting you in person when you enroll next year. Good luck with the final exam. Good luck with the rest of the academic year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elsa. There was a, a paar dinge wat wat gesê is wat wat definitief belangrik is wat ek net vanaf gaan recap vir ons. Um, eerste prijs. Sorg dat jy voldoen aan die minimum vereist is. En ek sê hierdie specifiek vir graad 8 en 9 is ook, wat besluiten moet maak rakende jylle vakkeuses. Wiskunde en fysische wetenskap is belangrik. Nie uh, wiskunde gelete tyd nie, nie technische wiskunde nie, nie technische fysische wetenskap nie. Jy het rechte wiskunde en rechte fysische wetenskap nodig om ingenieurspiece te kan swat. So, hou dit in gedachte. You have to bear that in mind. You need maths and physical science. You need that. The, the requirements to get into the program is a 70 for maths and a 70 for physical science. And then there are some other requisites, prerequisites that you that you need to adhere to. I'll go to the web page right now. And then the the, the Excel program. I can not feel beskryf wat er wonderlijke resultaten ons daar sien. Ek weet specifiek die betrokke student wat metriek geslaag het met een 50 vir wiskunde en een 50 vir fysische wetenskap. En die punte het opgegaan na 83 en 90, of 93 en 88, waar het toen nou opgeskiet het. Dit is fenomenaal. En die persoon kon dan voortgaan met ingenieurswese. So wat ons net wil sê is, is jy is nie in moedverloorse vlakte nie. Daar is altyd een manier. As dit jou hart is, en jy wil ingenieurswese swaad, en jy is bereid om hard te werk, is daar altyd een plan B. Maar by ons is daar een plan C en een plan D. Ons probeer so ver as moeilijk te accommodeer en te help. That is our Art to make you realize what you're supposed to do. All right. I just want to quickly um, again share my screen. And um, I just want to show uh, this. Um, there we go. Here we go. So this is the Afrikaans site. It's exactly the same. It's just with, with English. You see here under studier here or study here, you will see the, the application process, the engineering test if you want more information on that. On bursaries, we've already talked about that. And then here we go, the Excel program. You can just click on those links under engineering.nw.ac.za or dash AF for the Afrikaans. And you can just click on study here, study here, so, and then it's all the cases there. So, and then can you have more inlichting raak in dit alles daar so kry. Goed. Um, right. Then we are going to take a couple of questions from the floor. There are a couple, um, so I'm going to read them as they come through. If you have questions, please post them. So, I'm going to begin with this question. You have to say, how do you answer it? With COVID-19 this year, I'm going to read it first. Can this have an impact on the curing process? My son has no report in Portal 2 in grade 11. So you can fight who wants to answer that one. So the, the thing is, um, the person asked, my son has no uh, report mark term two in grade 11. Uh, will the COVID-19, how will that impact on the application process? So whoever wants to answer can answer that. Okay, on the bursary side, 
I'm sure the company will definitely keep that in mind that we don't have marks due to COVID. So I think not that going to be a problem. We are not going to be able to get the pandemic. We are not going to be able to get the beers for muscle that in acht nemen. Elsa, I don't know what the toelating is. Um, ja, wat u nou aan betref wil ons graag gebruik maak van examenpunte. Dit, dit is nogal belangrijk, so die maartpunte is nie rechtig gebruikbaar nie. Um, ek weet dat baie van die skole nie jullie examen skryf nie. So wat ons sal gebruik is dan die laaste examenpunte wat hy gehad het. So as hy in um, graad 11 die jullie examen geskryf het, dan sal ons die punte gebruik as een voorlopige um, keuring, en dan as hy daar voldoen aan die vereistes, of nie voldoen nie, dan kan mys dit van daar af verder vat. En natuurlijk, soos ek gesê, die metriek finale punte kan een hele verskil maak aan die prentie. Um, as, hy, as hy voldoen aan die, aan die vereistes in die einde van metriek, dan gaan ons om die rek aan. So just to recap on that, it's, it's, it's an adjustment for everyone, it's an adjustment for the companies, awarding bursaries, but it's also an adjustment for us as university in the whole application process. So we will make a plan and, and just bear this in mind. And I think this is something that we need to take note of. In the end, it boils down to the marks you obtain in the final matric exams. You could have scored 99 for all your subjects in everything, but if you fail matric, well, logically, you will not be allowed to, to get into the engineering program. But Again, that also links to what, what um, Elsa is saying there, is that if in the end your marks are not yet where they should be, and this is actually something that should encourage you, then you have the opportunity to improve your marks. And then at the end of matric, if you get the correct marks, yes, we will be able to consider that and you will be allowed into the program. This, we will make a plan. So if that, that's that. Right. Then a couple of questions still. This one I will because it's a more technical question that we don't miss this one. Um, the question reads as follows. Goedemiddag, wat er een van die ingenieurswese programme by NWI grens aan civiele ingenieurswese? So, um, Liesel, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot there. Uh, if you want to perhaps say something on that. Goed, ja, so, so met die begin, ons, ons bied nie, ons bied nie civiele ingenieurswese aan nie. So, daar is nie een wat civiele ingenieurswese per se is nie. Um, en ek denk dan is die vraag, wat is dit wat, is dit wat, um, wat jou aantrek na civiele ingenieurswese toe? So, ons het bijvoorbeeld um, uh, program in bedrijfsingenieurswese, ek is self een bedrijfsingenieur. Uh, bedrijfsingenieurs is, is ook die mense wat werk met um, vervoerstelsels en met uh, um, bedrijfstelsels voor die algemeen. Uh, met wiskundig optimering om te, om te besluit oor, oor vooruitskattings en soan. So as, as Jy het dit soveel gaan, omdat jy dan vanaf my groter prentjie te sien, dan is dit ook die rechte ene. Um, elektrisch, elektronisch, um, elektromechanisch is een program wat jy vooral in um, aanlegte waar jy weer eens multidisciplinair die elektronika en die mechanika moet, moet onderscheid. So ek moet eerlijk sê, Al die ingenieursprogramme grens aan mekaar in die sin van het ons gebruik wiskunde en wetenskap om probleme op te los. Um, maar daar is nie een program soos die viele ingenieurswese nie. Um, ek wil jou aanmoedig, as jy, die, as jy dit juist of jou kind is, om miskien in die volgende week juist in die middel te kom luister na die verskillende programme wat ons het. Ek dink dit sal vir jou die beste, beste aanleiding gee. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, so just to, to recap on that, no, we don't have civil engineering at the Northwest University, but the question is what attracts you to civil engineering? And we would like to invite you, join us for the next two weeks and see what the other programs um, entail, because it would be a bit dishonest to just say, no, but civil engineering is equal to mechanical engineering. It, it's not. Civil engineering is unique. But perhaps there's something about civil engineering attracting you and you will do that. Uh, just a comment. Um, I see that uh, there was a, a comment. Tik half ulam. Uh, I understand your question. We try to do both, so I can guarantee you that everything that is said in Afrikaans is also said in English. So it's it's not like we want to discriminate and, and be exclusive. We'd rather try to be inclusive. So if something is said in Afrikaans, we will the information will be said in, in both languages. So if you can please bear with us, we try to be as inclusive as possible. 
And that's why we, we try to do this in, in both languages and not exclusively English or not just exclusively Afrikaans. How badly ritlau bulela setswana mare kichole batuana utlek aufela. So I, I think that's my tswana is not there, so I cannot do the tswana. I, I will try to keep to that. Um, next question that that came through. It um, the question, but you can read it there. There's a frog he draw cat in IT meer worden as IP maths. Mag IP maths in a verschil in your current. So does CIT cat and IT does it uh, is it is it more weighty, more important than AP Maths? Um, and does it make a change with regards to your um, application process? Um, Elsa, you can you can answer that. Okay. Um, regarding CAD and programming, um, no, it does not. It's it's not more important than AP Maths. Um, I did a um, research and asked all our students a few years ago if they can go back to school and. Um, give advice to um, learners which subjects to take, uh, which subjects were the most um, beneficial to them uh, when while they are starting engineering and uh, studying and, and um, looking at it back, backwards. And they said that um, the one that helped them the most was AP Maths. So they found that that was really beneficial regarding their mathematics preparation for university. CAD and programming as well, very important, but it's just a matter of um, you don't have a lot of time to master skill while you study engineering. So uh, if you have that skill already when you start engineering, when you study engineering, you've got more time spent on the other subjects. But it, you can absolutely apply for engineering without IP mass, without CAD, and without programming. It's not necessary to have it, though it's beneficial. Thank you very much. So, for the but art of the art, look at the big You have to do it. Next question, Annemarie Oberholzer. Thank you for your question. What is your experience of Afrikaans kids who are for English class? Sukkel hulle of pas hulle gauw aan, wereld daar buiten is Engels, my sien voel wat wil van die begin af Engels studeer. So the question is, what is our experience with regards to um, students coming from an Afrikaans background and with English, do they adapt, how's that whole thing? Um, I think this is a, a great opportunity for the executive dean um, to respond that, on that question and also reflect on the, the language policy of, of the university and specifically the faculty. It's perhaps a broad question, but I think uh, if there's somebody that can answer it, it's Prof. Liesel. Thank you. And it's, it's indeed a very relevant, very important question. And, and you have um, picked up that we are using um, we are using a multiple languages here. Um, we are using language for the purpose of, of communicating. And, and there's two things that we would like to accomplish through our language plan. This, 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 first of all, uh, we prepare your child, we prepare you to be, become a professional engineer. So we prepare you for the world of the future, we prepare you for a world where you need to communicate internationally and professionally, and indeed, English is the, is the language. Actually, Mandarin is, is, even, is even more relevant, I imagine, but, but we don't have the capacity to teach you in Mandarin. Um, but English is, the, is, is, a, is a world language, and that is what we uh, would like you to be able to, to use when you're out of, um, out of university. Um, so that's our first aim, is to enable you to be able to, to function professionally in your workplace. So in your final year of study, you will be required to um, both respond and to, to, um, to receive in English. So you will read and write and speak and listen um, in terms of in, in, in English. However, we do realize in your first years of study, there's enough challenges. So, your first year of study is enough uitdagings. It's enough uitdagings, the fact that you alleen by op a vreemde plek is, it's enough uitdagings that you have a class loop, it's enough uitdagings that you klomp goed het wat jy moet leer. Um, so, ons wil dit vir jou so makkelijk as moendlik maak om aan te pas. So, ons wil nie, taal moet nog boon op een struikelblok wees in jou eerste en jou tweede jaar. So, dis die tweede ding. So, die een kan vir ons jou gereed maak, om as jy uitgaan uit, die, uit jou studies uit, heel te mal gemakkelijk te wees in een veeltalige omgeving. 
En, maar aan die andere kant wil ons, wanneer je inkom zeker maak, jy is gemakkelijk. For that reason, I can assure you that we have various ways of, of enabling you to, in your first year, and also the first part of the second year of study, to um, receive all your tuition in mm -hmm. the language, either Afrikaans or English of choice. But even more than that, we're also bringing in Setswana. We also have active uh, programs, active initiatives in which we do uh, translation of some learning material, translation of some of our uh, uh, multi-media multi um, um, learning material, so that we can also support you if your mother tongue is, is not, neither Afrikaans nor English. We even have Setswana tutors in some of the modules. Everything, of course, within practical constraints. So, as we naturally practice wees, as so graag vir jou in al, al, al die elf landstale wou gehelp het, maar ons kan vir jou beloof dat jy of 100% in Engels of 100% in Afrikaans sal kan, kan um, leer in jou, in jou eerste jaar. Jou handboek is natuurlijk in Engels. Dit is so. Selfs ek wat, wat, um, wat nog my E's en A's die mekaar gooi, het, in, um, het in, uit Engels handboeken uitgeleer. Ge, so, um, ons taalbeleid is daar in eerste plek om jou kind gereed te maak vir een veeltalige, leef wel een veeltalige omgeving, nie noodwendig net die Engels omgeving, nie juist veeltalige, veelkulturele omgeving, maar terzelfde tijd wil ons nie de struik of blok wees. So, if you are not proficient in, in Afrikaans, if you are only proficient in English, it's no problem. You will go through your studies and you will be able to exit as a professional engineer. Thank you very much. Um... Prof. Liesel. And then there's a, a question that actually latches onto that question. Um, before I go to the other ones, um, Anna-Marie, I hope that you have your question answered. But Mahika Kilian, what for us is, if you have a in Afrikaans, do you still have to learn Afrikaans? If you obtain your degree in Afrikaans, but we will have to clarify that though, but I will again throw that to the, to the Executive Dean, will you be able to work abroad. Well, nobody is working abroad now because the airplanes are down, but um, once we can travel again, will it be possible to work abroad? That is the question. Yeah, I, I studied many years ago. I did my degree in Afrikaans and, and I studied and I worked abroad. So if that can answer your question. Um, it's, um, but maybe I can just remind you about the fact that your final year of studies is, is absolutely uh, to, um, to prepare you to, to communicate in all aspects in, um, in, in, in English on a professional level. So um, yes, you will be absolutely prepared to study abroad. If you want to study in China or work in China, you need to study Mandarin as well which is not part of our curriculum. Thank you very much. Ja, ek kan dit net, kan ek bevestig. Um, jou finale jaar is vier jaar. So dit gaan stelselmatig in elk geval baie meer Engels word na die laaste jare toe. Your, in your final year, your final design, your final practicals, all those things, all those reports will be written in English. So English is the language of engineering. So it, we will ease you into that. Um, if I can put it that, if you're an Afrikaans speaker. So Afrikaans is, Ons gaan jou help, ons gaan met jou die pad stap, maar eventueel in jou vierde jaar, jou, jou, jou graad gaan Engels wees. Uh, Liesel, jy wil iets bijvoeg, yes. Ja, ek, ek wil dokker eens daarbij bijvoeg by die help. Um, dit is nie dat het geval van ons gaan jou in die diepkant ingooi in jou vier, vierde jaar, en dan gaan jy in jou swem. Ons, ons, het, ons het rare geplan, dit is deel van ons curriculum, dit is ingebouw in ons curriculum, van jou eerste jaar af, wat jy, wat jy um, Engelse talvaardigheid doen, tot jou tweede jaar, wat jy technische skryf, tot jou vierde jaar, wat jy mentorskap kry, en die, die skryf van versla, dit is nie, dit is, jy, ons, ons gaan jou begeleid daar deur. Wonderlijk. Um, Marie Taljaard, ek gaan jou vraag gauw gaan hanteer, ek gaan somme vinnig doen, en dan gaan ek weer een vraag vir die paneel gooi. Benodig ek een speciale rekenaar, of enig speciale apparaat, vir ingenieurswese? Dari, so the question is, do I need a special computer, special equipment in order to study engineering? That will be communicated to you. There's normally a, a letter that circulates a bit closer to the time, and there you will be um, instructed with regards to what are the minimum specifications. If you buy a laptop, what do you need? All those things, and it's, it's specified in that. So you don't need to worry about that. That will be communicated to you closer to the time. But apart from... The laptops, I, I think that's, in some cases, there might be some calculators, but everything will be communicated, and that can be program-specific. That can, af van wat er program 
jy gaan swak. Nou die paneel is jylle recht, hier is een paar vra, ek gaan hulle sommer kombineer. Stefan Buys, wat vra, is IEB maths, is IEB maths seen higher as NSS maths? So it's again IEE, IEB versus NSS, um, is that the same? And I'm going to link to that um, because it's, it's on the same thing. Um, three questions, so you must write them down, eh? You are. So the first one is IEB versus NSS. The second one, what about Namibian um, students? Johan, what for all? What for Namibian students? As hulle punte oordra na Suid-Afrikaanse punte toe, hoe word daai vertaal, as ek het so kan stel? How is that translated? And then the third question, what is the minimum requirements? That is um, LJ, Lucas. Wat vraag, wat is die uh, minimum vereistes om die ingenieurstoets te mag skryf? Minimum requirements to, start, to write the engineering test. So, those three questions. Oh, <laughs> um, regarding the IEB and the uh, National Senior Certificate, um, um, in terms of selection, we need the same requirements for the IEB and the National Senior Certificate. I know that there are many people that feel that the IEB are, um, of, is of a higher standard. Um, at, at this stage, we use exactly the same uh, requirements, um, so we also need 70 for math and science on IEB and the 60 for, for languages. Then uh, regarding Namibia, um, Namibia's um, qualifications, um, if I'm correct, it's a, um, a Cambridge qualification. So um, for that, we need uh, minimum requirements. It's on our website. It's a B for uh, mathematics and physical science and a C for for um, uh, languages as well. Um, so regarding Cambridge, that is what the uh, minimum requirements are. And then uh, minimum requirements for the engineering test, um, you can be invited to, uh, to write the with um, maths and physical science 50%, but your APS score must be at least 31. So if you meet those requirements, you're welcome to come and write the test. And um, with the results of the test, then we can give you advice in terms of the Excel program, the BEC program, or the, um, the engineering um, degree. Um, so invitation, 54 maths and science, but the APS score of um, 31, and language 60. So your language must be a 60. Cornel, so now we're going to be like we have a technical problem by the other side. Yes, extra. Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I live? As a living dog. As a living dog. I like living dog. <laughs> no, the thing is, you see that it's just, but what, that's what I like about this whole situation we're in. It's real. It's not made up and pre recorded. 
these things happen and suddenly just the internet just decides, no, Cornelius, you're not speaking anymore and you're disconnected. I mean, that's that's the top word for 2020 will be the word reconnecting. That is the, the top word. <laughs> right. Um, are we back? Everybody can hear us. So let me just recap. Did we answer the question on Namibia and minimum requirements for the engineering test? And yes, did we answer those? Hey, mm. Tom's. Fire donkey. Then there was a question from Jakko van der Walt. Um, Bid die NWI lichtvaart ingeneers wees aan? Do we present aeronautical uh, engineering? And, and the answer to that um, is, is no, we do not present that. But I know Dr. Johan Bosman, you would always ask students, he's in mechanical engineering, you would ask them, um, do you want to service airplanes one day or do you actually want to fly them? Because if you want to fly them, you must consider mechanical engineering because that I know, I think the top 10 gliders in the world, on the top 10, more than five were designed and built in Potchefstroom as part of Jonker Sailplanes, which is a, a spin-off company of the Northwest University. Liesel, am I correct on that? Yeah, you, you're correct about the fact that um, that we have two top aeronautical air, air, airplane design engineers in our mechanical engineering faculty, and, and they, they're doing it by means of gliders. I can maybe also add that um, aeronautical engineering is not one of the um, EXA, uh, Washington Accord, basic engineering programs. It's, so it's, it's usual, it's normal that it's actually a specialization on postgraduate level. So, so, so there's, there's quite a few of our students who studies mechanical engineering undergraduate, and then they do their master's studies for, um, in, where they specialize in some say, aircraft design, aeronautical engineering, under supervision of these two professors that you just mentioned. And the same applies for, for specializations like biomedical engineering. Um, it's, it's not an undergraduate specialization anywhere. But you can you can do electrical, electronic, or me mechatronics engineering, um, and then specialize um, in your in your postgraduate studies. Awesome. Well, but I shall say, um, uh, Jaku, what the question asked, I shall you outnoy on Friday specific uh, to listen as the talk is talked about about mechanics and engineers. We say in the week now, now, but also talked about about electromechanics and mechatronics. So the third of July we have mechanical, and next week we have some other programs. So please join us, and uh, we can have a nice discussion. And if need be, we can put you in touch with the right people to further discuss these options. But again, you have your undergraduate, which is four years, and then you will specialize after that. Um, that's that's quite interesting. Right. So next question. From Zandra Jordan. Zandra, you have asked, as my kind now grad 11 is, when must I begin with aansoeken in terms of beurse? Chloe, that's a question to you. My child is in grade 11. Writes Zandra Jordan, when should he or she, he, start applying for bursaries? What would you say? Hello, Zandra. You can first in metric aansoeken for beurse. So, when you have the first point of reading, can you already aansoeken in your metric year? Hou nie dop, want sekere plek is soos Sassel sluit gewoonlik vroeg in februari. So as ek advertenties uitstuur, hou maar die, die, die deadline dop, want dit gaan jou een aanduiding geef van voor wat er tyd jy die aanzoek moet indien. So maar soos ek sê, in jou metriek jaar ongelukkig nie voor die tyd. Thank you very much, Claudie. So do that in metriek. Metriek is the, the, the golden rule. Um, Sunet, I'm going to ask you two questions, just that the people can hear you speaking. This good that they hear you speak. So that's that's two questions that I will ask you. The one is, fly the APS telling, levensorientering in. That's an easy one for you. Does does the APS score include life orientation? And the second question, if I already meet the minimum requirements, should I still write the engineering test? Yes or no? Good, baie dankie. Um, die OPS stelling, dit sluit nie levensoriëntering in nie. So, you don't calculate the life orientation, so you can leave that. And for the engineering test, um, um, ons wil graag hee, jy moet die ingenieurstoets skryf. Jy hoef om nie hierdie jaar te skryf nie, maar jy kan het wel volgende jaar doen. Ons gebruik daai inlichting dier jou hele universiteitsloopbaan en ons wil baie graag daai inlichting van jou by mekaar maak. So, daar sê. Thank you very much, Sunit. If I can add to that, um, and 
our recommendation is the sooner you write it, the better. And I will explain to you why. In the unfortunate event, and this has happened in the past, you have brilliant marks and suddenly at the end of matric, something goes wrong. And I'm not going to elaborate on what can go wrong. Anything can happen. Life happens. And suddenly your marks drop. The advantage of writing the engineering test beforehand gives us an additional way of determining whether you will still be able to, uh, to do well in, in engineering or not. So that gives us additional information to make a better recommendation in, in that case. So that's why for your own, uh, for your eigen moetseris, for your own uh, peace of mind, that's the word, um, we would recommend you, you write it rather now than later. It's just for that, if something goes wrong in the metric final exam, it's a bit of insurance and that just makes it much easier for us because it has happened. Um, I think it was last year, was it that the maths was a total nightmare for some? And then many top students had to, in any case, we could not give them an answer. They first had to then write this test and they had to write it in January. So if they would have, if they had written the test prior to that, it would have been much easier to tell them yes or no um, based on that test. So ons aanbeveling is, nee, dit is nie en moet nie. Jy gaan om in elk geval skryf volgende jaar, as jy eerste jaar op die NWI pik is. Maar die, die vraag wat ons het is, is vir jou eie gemoedsris, skryf het liever vroeger as later. Right, let's see. Um, I'll, I'll throw this one to Elsa, then you can just elaborate on what, you, what I just said. And then a, a question just from Johan. Um, hoe kan ek myself voorbereid vir ingenieurstoets? How can I prepare for this engineering test? Okay, uh, Johan, you cannot really prepare for the engineering test. Um, the test is not to test your knowledge. Um, we want to see how you reason and um, how you problem solve and so on. So we use the contents of grade 11 and lower in mathematics and physical science. So things that you already should have mastered by now. And we give the information that you will need in the uh, question when we want you to reason about it. So it's not really um, possible to prepare for it. Um, what you can do, however, is get into bed early, <laughs> get a good night's sleep and uh, drink your vitamins and be ready to, to um, be sharp while you write the test. That's the only thing you actually can do. Um, I just want to uh, confirm what Cornelius just said. Um, it is easier for you if you've already written the test and you get your matric final uh, results and there is some um, disappointment there um, that we as a selection committee can immediately make a decision because we have the test results available already. Otherwise, at that stage, you have to travel to come and write the, or write the test at that stage. And that's, um, that's quite traumatic. So it's easier to write the test beforehand, have everything ready, and we can just make a decision in January. Wonderlijk. Um, Elsa, daar is drie verdere vragen. Hulle soms so na mekaar vraag, gaan allemaal oor die ingenieurs toets. Marco Stein wat wil weet, is die vroegste wat ek die toets kan skryf in matriek. Leandri Botma wat wil weet, waar skryf ons die ingenieurs toets? En dan Justin Roberts, sy vraag is by die self dan Marco Stein, so dan kan ek as ek in graad 11 is, nog steeds die toets skryf of slechts in matriek. So I just want to uh, just restate that again. First of all, the one question, can I only write this test in matric? That's the first question. And the second thing is, where is this test written? Elsa. Okay, um, the first question, um, no, you can unfortunately not write in a grade 11 already because we use the contents of the grade 11 um, math and science. We want you to complete your grade 11 when you write the test. So you can only write the test while you are in matric. Um, Regarding uh, where you're going to write it, you can write it in your room, um, somewhere where you feel safe, where it is quiet, and uh, where you have all the um, criteria that I've mentioned earlier regarding uh, a webcam, um, data, a cell phone, but you can write inside your own bedroom. Um, it's, it's online this, uh, starting this coming Friday. Right. 
Now let's just check. I see we have received all the questions that we could have received. So I'm glad. And I hope that we could have answered um, the questions. Maar ons nooi hulle uit. Dis net die begin. Hierdie is net dag 1. Uh, tomorrow, we're continuing. Tomorrow uh, is, is quite a, a, an interesting topic. Um, I will be uh, being marked of ceremonies. I will be uh, leading the discussion. But with me in the studio, it sounds like with me in the studio, will be students. So morgen gaan jylle werkelijke rechte studenten kry. Daar is net studenten wat morgen gaan praat. En hulle gaan bykie hulle eie ervaring deel van wat het is om een geneer te wees, student, een geneer student te wees by die NWE in Potjesstroom. So tomorrow, same time, it's again starting at 3 o'clock, it will again be interactive, you can ask questions, but tomorrow, if you are wondering what is the big difference between being a student at university in engineering, opposed to being a, a learner at school, you should not miss out uh, on tomorrow's program. You will find the link, it's online, um, and you will be able to to follow the links that are posted there on the Engineering Week page of the Northwest University. So, I think that is that. So, from our side, bye, thank you that you have Thank you so much. May have a wonderful evening. And ons sien bye daarna uit. And hou die vraag vir ons recht. Dis goeie vraag wat jylle vraag. It's good. And what I, what I like about this is, normally when we have the open days, and you say you have an opportunity to ask questions, Everybody just does this. They fold their arms and they sit back and nobody wants to ask questions. But it's so wonderful to see so many people asking questions. In fact, as I'm talking now, there was a question, Ashley Bunce, she's asking, if you have already obtained an engineering degree and have been working, how does the application process differ for a second undergraduate program? So, the klaar in ingenieursgraad klaar voltooi, I will not say Mark, is it a B Eng? Because that's that's important. Is it a B Eng or a B Tech? But if it's a B Eng, how does it work to study a second engineering degree? Um, I think Elsa that that you will be able to answer. Okay, um, lovely. You are welcome to apply and you will be seen as a as a senior student. So what um the school directors will do is they will have a look at the subjects that you already completed and um, give you credit for those subjects and the outstanding subjects must still be taken um, uh, while you are an undergraduate student to ensure that you um, complete the whole undergraduate program. So yes, that's great. If you want to um, do a second engineering um, degree, you're most wel welcome to um, contact us that you won't go through the um, selection process in my office it will be handled by the school directors great please don't you want to add to that uh, maybe you can also uh, the, this this week is very much directed towards school learners but so so we don't say much about the postgraduate diplomas mm -hmm. uh, but uh, robin maybe oh, ashley i think may, maybe um more interested in a postgraduate diploma uh, which is which is actually meant for people who already are in a work and would like to further their studies so we will we, we have at the moment one um postgraduate diploma in nuclear engineering and nuclear engineering management um, and we will have on the books a uh, postgraduate diploma in industrial engineering, but possibly only from 2022. Um, we can, we, 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 you, you're welcome to send me an email if you have a specific question on, on that. Uh, the focus of this week will rather be on the, on the undergraduate programs. But yes, we would love it if you do a second degree at the Northwest University. It would be wonderful. Uh, but yes. And with that, I then say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us. Tomorrow, same place, same time, at 3 o'clock we will start. Have those questions ready. Ons sien ei daarna om al jylle vraag te kan beantwoord. En asjeblief, as daar mens is wat jy weet, wat ook wil weet van ingenieurswese, kry jylle, jylle kan nie morgen mis nie, dan gaan jylle uit die paardse bek, jylle gaan self oor by die studente, hoe is het om by die NWI te studeer in ingenieurswese? Tomorrow, you cannot miss it. We will talk about student life and engineering, how do these things match? Don't they match what's going on there? But with that, thank you very much and goodbye. Tot ziens. Tot ziens.